Okay, this one's on the three wire electrical system. Now this is what you find in uh, most homes that have single phase power in them. They actually use a three wire system. And this is a uh, schematic representation. We're showing line one, line two, and neutral. Okay. Now I've got a simple one here first. I'm going to get a little more complex one in in the future. The neutral is like a gathering place to transfer power. Because here we have 240 volts from here to here. And when we have 120 volt line or 120 volt loads, they go to the neutral. And the neutral is not ground. The neutral is the neutral. So power passes through this uh, normally closed switch to illuminate a light. So the power is passing through here, then it goes to the neutral. The neutral distributes it to the other side of line, which we also have a light and a normally closed switch. So both of these lights would be burning at 120 volts. This is the, uh, the simple way this thing works. Now I'm going to give you a little more complex one and we'll try to find out a few more things about it. Okay, this one's a little more complex. It's the same diagram, it just got some more components in it and the light. Okay, this is a 120 volt line. And this is a voltmeter. If I put the voltmeter from the 120 volt L1 to neutral, I will read 120 volts. Likewise, if I go across to L2 I, and put a voltmeter across to the neutral, I will read 120 volts. Now, if I go down to the bottom, I've got another voltmeter down here. And if I go from L1 to L2, I read 240 volts. So we're, we have available two different voltages. We've got two hot lines, L1 and L2. Neutral is not a hot line. Neutral doesn't really do anything except make a gathering place. So let's look at a couple of loads here. Now we've got this one load and it is turned on and you can see by the red arrows, it's going to the neutral and over to the other line. So there's actually 240 volts between here and here. But because I've got two 120 volt identical loads, they're both two amp loads, then these uh, two, they're essentially in series from L1 to L2. So both of them glow with the 120 volt uh, uh, voltage. Now, if I go down here and I've got one, it's a 3 amp load, and I've got another load over here, but it's open. So where does that 3 amps go? It can't go through here because this is already going through there. So it goes to the neutral line. Now, if there are other loads in this panel that can accommodate that 3 amp load, then it does. If there is no uh, load that will accommodate this and make it a balance, that's, that's a balanced load if I've got one on each side, then the neutral goes out to the pole, the power pole, and you can see that that's a bare line that goes out to the power pole and it's the lowest wire on the power. You'll have, say, two lines on, on the top tree, and then you'll have one lower down. That's a neutral line. It is going to run this 3-amp load up through the neutral and off to other uh, systems, other panels, other homes, other businesses, something like that, to try to balance that load. 
Because remember, we only have power between L1 and L2. It's 240 volt power. And it needs to be balanced somehow. And so if it can't balance inside this panel through other loads that are on on the other side, then it will go out to the grid and it will balance there. Now ideally when you put in a panel, you try to balance the loads. It's never ever going to be perfect. There's always going to be problems getting it balanced. So you have the neutral that is going to take care of the imbalance in the grid somewhere else. Okay, so if I wanted to take a clamp meter and check the amperage draw of this line here, put my clamp meter around this wire here, it would read 2 amps plus it would read 3 amps. Because that's what's going through this line. Power coming through here, power coming through there. If I were to clamp this line, right here it would read 2 amps because there's only 2 amps going through this side so what happened to the other 3 amps it went through the neutral so it's an unbalanced load now if I clamp the neutral here I will read 3 amps because that's what the imbalance is it's not being balanced in the panel, so it's being balanced exterior. So this will never carry, the neutral will never carry as much load as L1 and L2 do. It will carry only the load that is not balanced in this system. That's how the three-wire electrical system works. It's actually a really simple idea maybe it's a little hard to to understand but uh, one of the things you do need to understand that this neutral right here is not a ground wire that's not ground that's neutral now it may be wired to the ground wire in the panel but it is not considered a ground now I'm going to show you what this looks like in a panel it's a little harder to tell what's all going on there but I'll kind of try to point it out okay here we're showing a panel and you can see the main breaker right there in the center and the two big black wires going to it that's my L1 and my L2 uh, to the right of that you will see the neutral wire now the neutral wire is going down to the terminals right there just below the breaker and that is the neutral side. Those are the only three wires that are coming into this panel. The ground is not coming into this panel from outside, from the pole. It's only coming from the ground rod. So if you look at this, you can see it if you look pretty close. Uh, you can see where all that is. And you can also notice there are two rows of breakers. Now, they're not all one side. They're each one, each, each single actually goes to the next type. If you look at this uh, top breaker right there. Now, that's a 240 volt breaker because there's two, uh, two breakers wired together or uh, clamped together. So, if one turns off, both turn off. Okay and it's put on the bus bars on the back and there's two bus bars there one down each row but the bus bar every other terminal on the bus bar goes to the opposite bus bar that's how you get 240 volts off of each double breaker you can look down here and you got a bunch of single breakers and uh, there's another double breaker there uh, and uh, through the rest of them. But that is the single panel, single phase panel. Maybe this is a little better view of a little closer of where you can see the uh, neutral wire going to its terminal. 
Hope this makes sense. Let me know if it doesn't.